Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We told that polynomial is the expression with some condition. Right? So if you see the definition of polynomial, it is nothing but its expression with some conditions such that operations were given and exponents should be whole number and that condition was given and it will have constant and variable. So it is an expression with some condition. So the question is, are all algebraic expression polynomial? It has to be no. Right? Because if you see, there are some extra conditions, especially this condition. So let's talk about some expressions. So if we see some expression, for example, x square plus 2x plus a. Let's take x square plus 1 by x plus 3. Root x plus 8. Q root of x plus x plus 9. Right? Let's talk about these polynomials. So if you see here, so this is x to the power 1 and this is x to the power 0. So here we see 0, 1, 2. All the exponents are whole numbers, so it is also a polynomial. Please note all these are algebraic expression. Okay. Let's talk about this expression. x to the power 2, fine whole number. This is 1 by x is nothing but I can write as x to the power minus 1. Is minus 1 a whole number? Since minus 1 is not a whole number, this is not a polynomial. Let's talk about this. This I can write as x to the power 1 by 2 plus e. Is 1 by 2 a whole number? No. So this is also not a polynomial. This I can write as x to the power 1 by 3 plus x plus 9. So is 1 by 3 a whole number? No. So this is also not a polynomial. So if you see, these are not polynomials. That means all algebraic expressions need not be polynomial. Please pay attention here, very important concept. All algebraic expressions need not be polynomial because of a polynomial on the critical condition is that all the exponents has to be whole number. In this case, we have seen that this particular expression, this exponent, this exponent and these exponent, all these three exponents are not whole number. Since these are not whole number, they are not polynomial, but they are algebraic expressions. Okay. We talk a lot about polynomial. Let's see one big polynomial. For example, we have one polynomial x to the power 98 plus 3 x to the power 97 it's a big polynomial x to the power 2 plus x plus 1. See, every time you can't write this. It's a big number. So there has to be some way to denote this. In fact, the whole number itself I have not written. It's a big number. So there has to be a way to denote this polynomial. Typically, we use signs like px. If the polynomial is of one variable x, for example, 8x5, 6x4, 3x q 2x square plus x plus 5 or qx or let's suppose ry so if it is of polynomial of y okay or if it is a polynomial of u I can say 2y. It's to you actually, it has to be you. This is how you denote polynomial. If it is of one variable, if it is of two variable, I can use px by x square plus y square plus 3. But we'll not use this in this class. Or you can actually remember this. These are ways to denote a polynomial. Okay. You can use px, qx, py, anything. This is a name, unique name given for a, this polynomial. And this 
denotes the variable used. So in this case, there were two variables used. This was polynomial and two variable. So I've used p x y. I can also use q x y for the same equation. This p q I can use any term. Typically, we use p q r s, and then these variable names. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.